Hey guys, welcome to Coding Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make Google's tic tac toe. I'll be doing the play against a friend game mode. So it's basically a tic tac toe played by two humans. Make sure and give it a try. Okay, so the final version of the game should look something like this. We have a board, and each time we click the square, either a circle or a cross appears. And obviously, when a player wins, a line is displayed. Okay guys, so let's start coding these. By the way, I'm using Sublime Text as my editor, but you can use whatever editor you want. It's totally up to you. And also, if you don't have Python, Pygame, or any text editor installed in your computer, make sure to see my videos on how to install Python, Pygame model, and set up Sublime Text 3 for both Mac and Windows users. I'll leave the link to those in the description below. So let's start opening the folder where we are saving our game. In my case, it's going to be here. Let's create a new file and let's save it as tic-tac-toe.py. Okay, guys, so let's start importing Pygame and the sys model. And for those of you who don't know, whenever we are working with Pygame, we need to make sure we initialize it. And we do that by writing pygame.init. Okay, so once we have initialized our pygame model, we can start working with it. So let's start creating our screen. I'll call it screen, but you can call it however you want. We create a screen by writing pygame.display.setMode. Inside this method, we need to pass the width and the height of our screen. So for this game, we want to create a screen of 600 by 600 pixels. So we need to put parentheses, and inside of those parentheses, we need to pass 600, comma, 600. But actually, I want to save these values as constants. So let me delete this, and let's create a constant called width with a value of 600 and a constant called hide with a value of 600 as well. And if you're wondering why these two names are in capital letters, it's just because in Python we usually write constants as that. Okay, so let's now pass with and hide here. And we have our screen. So let's save and run the file to see what happens. And as you can see, a screen just pop up, but it disappeared. And it disappeared because we don't have a main loop. So we need to create a main loop. And for those of you who are using Pygame for the first time, this might be a little bit confusing, but I just want you to know that this first part of the main loop is always the same. So don't worry if you feel a little bit confused or lost. So let's write main loop to know that is our main loop. And we need to write while true. And inside of this, we write for event in pygame.event.get. And we write if event.type equals equals pygame.quit. Then we call our sys model and we write sys.exit. Now let's save and let's run again the file to see what happens. And as you can see, we have our screen. So again, I know this might be confusing, but usually when you start doing more and more games, you eventually start to memorize it. So don't worry. And we're basically saying that if we hit the red button, the exit button, just quit the application. Okay, but as you saw, the screen was really simple, it didn't have a title and it didn't have color. So let's start adding things to our screen. Let's first put a title and we do that by writing caption. And inside of this method, we are going to pass the title. In my case, I'm gonna put tic-tac-toe. Let's save and let's run the file. 
And as you can see, our screen now has the title of Tic-Tac-Toe. Let's now add some color to our screen. So we do that by writing screen.fill. By the way, this screen is the same as this one. Okay, so inside this fill function, we need to pass in a color. But actually, I want to create colors as, as constants too. So let's say we want to create red. And I'm going to create colors in RGB format. So for those of you who don't know, RGB stands for red, green, and blue. And it basically tells us how much of these colors our color will have respectively. So in the case of red, we will have the maximum of the red color. So in, in this case, two by five, we are not going to have green and we are not going to have blue. So now we can pass here the red color. We can save and we can run the file. Let's see what happens. And as you can see, our screen is not red and that's because we haven't updated the screen. So in order to update the screen, we need to go into the main loop and outside this for loop, we need to write pygame dot display that update. Let's save and let's run the file again. So there it is guys, our red screen. But we don't want red as our background. We want something more or less as this. Okay, so I'm gonna create that color and I'm gonna call it background color. And I did some tests and that color seemed to be something like 28, 170, and 156. So let's now pass here background color. Let's save and let's run. And as you can see, now our screen has a pretty similar color to Google's tic-tac-toe board. So now that we have our background color, we can start drawing the four main lines of our board. And by four main lines, I refer to these ones. But actually, before we do that, I'll need to explain something about Pygame coordinates. So guys, this is going to be quick. Some of you may know it already, but in, in Pygame, coordinates work a little bit different than usual. And that's because X values increase in the right direction as always, but Y values increase downwards and that's not common. That's why we have our origin in the upper left corner. And that's why we have, in our case, the coordinate 600 comma 600 in the bottom right corner. Awesome guys. So it was important for you to know that because throughout this project, we're going to use lots of coordinates. Okay, so let's start drawing our first Pygame line. In order to do that, we write pygame.draw dot line and inside of this method we need to pass in some arguments so the first argument will be our screen the second one will be our line color in this case i'm gonna use red then we need to pass the starting position of the line so i'm gonna put 10 comma 10 this is a tuple so is inside brackets then we need to pass an ending position for our line. I'm gonna put 300 by 300. And last, we need to pass the width of our line. I'm gonna use 10 in this case. So let's save and let's run our file. And as you can see, we managed to create a red line from the coordinate 10 comma 10 to the coordinate 300 comma 300. Okay guys, so now that we know how to create and draw Pygame lines, let's go ahead and create a function that will draw the four main lines for us. So I'm gonna call it draw, draw lines. 
But before we create these, this function, I want to create a constant for the lines color. So I'm going to call it line color. And again, I did some tests and it seemed to be something like 23, 145, 135. And you know what? I'm going to create another constant for the lines width. I'm going to call it line, line width with a value of 15. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our function. So I'm going to draw the first horizontal line. Uh, so I'm referring to this line. And that line will be something like pygame.draw.line. We pass our screen. We pass the line color. For starting position, we're going to pass 0, 0,200. And for ending position, we are going to pass 600, 200. For the width, we're going to pass line width. Okay, so we can actually. I'm going to comment this line. The the this is the the red line. And let's call our function. Let's save and let's run the file. So as you can see, we managed to draw the first horizontal line. So let's go ahead and copy this. Let's create the second horizontal line. This one will start at 0, 0,400 and will end at 600, 0,400. Let's create the first vertical line. This one will start at 200, 0 and will end at 200, 600. Let's create this, the, the last one. So this one will start at 400, 0 and will end at 400, 600. So let's go ahead and save and run. So there it is, guys, our main board. I think it's pretty nice. And actually, I think it's pretty similar to Google's one. However, feel free to change whatever you want with coordinates, colors, whatever you want. And I think that's all for this video, guys. Uh, in the next video, I'll be showing you how to create what I call a console board. And we are going to do some more functions. So if you are enjoying and if you like this video, please smash that like button, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.